Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another edition of Myths and Legends in Video Games. In today's program we shall explore uh, a question, a challenge by a fellow by the name of Chaga A. Conroy. Uh, I have never heard of this person before but he was wondering if this is Madura's Mask, if you didn't know this, in Madura's Mask there is a boss by the name of Goth and he's encased in ice and Chugga was so kindly wondered are you able to, to thaw the ice around Goth using hot spring water much like the other ice obstacles present in the game? Well, as you see we are now in hot spring and I have the bottles ready so now we're gonna collect a whole many bottles of hot spring water. It's good to keep spare, of course. This would be a very interesting uh, myth to explore because, well, normally when facing off, you have to use the fire arrow to the fall to fall out ice around the boss. But if this is the case that you can use the hot spring water, well, that would be most interesting indeed. And with this last bottle, I believe that we have have enough hot spring water to go ahead and head towards the boss. Now, if you want to know where the location of the hot spring is, it is in the near the mountain village in this area here. But we must hurry, as the hot spring water will not stay up warm for long, especially in this cold. We must prepare and then we must walk hastily to the Snowhead Temple. Notice as the majestic Arctic Wolf prays the wild link in the background. And here we go. We must f and the young link sprue falls his wings if he extends his wings and flies off, like most links do in winter. He migrates north, not south, like most uh, birds. But now, we are heading towards Snowhead Temple with lots of hot spring water. This will be most interesting. And as you see, Gordon Link is rather suicidal. He's sort of like lemmings like that. So, we have to be careful. There you go, majestically. Notice how the Goron Link has spikes protruding from its from its skin whenever it's in the whenever it's in the curled position. It shares many family uh, familiarities with the hedgehog, the common hedgehog. Many does not know about. About that, about that Gora. Oops! It seems like I've been too slow. Well, that. Screw you, wolf. You ruined the whole premise! Ugh, this is lame. This is totally lame. Screw this, I'm going back to stuff I can do. Like, for instance, Eternal Darkness! Uh, what happened to the sound there? Uh, sorry about that, uh, the sound sort of disconnected there. <laughs> I sort of stepped on the... Uh, on the headsets and it got the pug fell out. <laughs> Anyways, this is... Welcome everybody to Eternal Darkness, a bit sloppy start there. Welcome to part 23 of this let's play. Last left off, the game froze on me. So I had to replay this game up to the point I froze. Actually, if you might know this, I know I actually managed to find some crossbow uh, bolts, unlike last time. Uh, I'm gonna just show you where I got those pro crossbow bolts. It was actually right next to where it was. Ooh, uh, wrong. Oh, yeah. It was right here. Actually, here there was some crossbow bolts, which I didn't notice last time. Anyways, this is the moment where we last us off. The circle of power with multiple uh, you seen this circle of power yes Paula 
has acquired a five point circle of power. Now each of the three point spells can be powered up using the power rune. A power rune, eh? What's a power rune? I actually got quite a bit of runes. Anyways, I got some cool spells. I don't want to experiment just yet. I'll actually just want to. I don't think I actually explored down here last time, did I? Let's check it out. Oh, catacombs. Open door. Hello. Ooh. This bears a little bound book. Book of liquid rays. We must read this. This is the forgeries of the relic. Queries dating back to the date 13th century, exquisitely illuminated and bound with the hard letter. It reads, Doubtless, many obscure orders requiring more income than can be garnered from the from the tithe resorted to forging ancient relics to bring people from outside the region to their diocese, and thus becoming more lucrative. While it could be said that the false hope that it's still hope, relics such as Cooper's jawbone, the hand of Jude, and the infamous Firebone Flute of Connag, while being forgeries, deceived the righteous unjustly. Their existence was true relics in the utmost heresy. Hmm. Okay. More crossbow bolts. Sweet. The first effects of priests are scattered across the scales, roaster bees, the crucifix, and a variety of other small holy items. Huh. The Spartan bed shows how the Order treats its visitors. There is no sign of the Order's own quarters, and this chills Paul to the bone. The only man who doesn't need the bed is a dead one. <gasps> Whatever. Oh, we have a... What's this? Hmm. Ah, okay, let's get out of here. Let's move down here. What's this? A pillow mechanism supports the organ upstairs with air. It requires an expert hand to intuition to keep in working order. Okay. Yeah, no, I could miss with it. Ooh, what's this? Herogen a steel mace is mounted the back wall by means of display armature. Sweet, a new weapon. Let's check out what this says. A weapon covered with spikes and flanks that focus force upon striking the mace was effective against an enemy bearing a chainmail. Although usually directed against the head, the uh, mace blow is to a limb could break bones even if the armor is not pierced. Nice. Bit dark, so I'll keep using the steel awesome torch. Was oh, what crossbow board? Bow bolts, sweet. Ah, Ooh. I hear trappers. Hey, bro. Go away. There's something here. Could be slow dealing with these bastards. Um, hello. Oh, come on! Stay away! Much better. A vine cask is from a maturing vine. The vine inside this one must be very strong for it seeps through its cask, feeling every to be the aroma. Can I use anything with that? No. Oop. Stand still. Walk past me. Good. The uh, camera angle isn't doing me any favors. Ah, uh, I didn't see him. Uh, 
Uh, whatever. Let's just get out of here. Purple. Oh wait, purple. Did purple help me? Uh, blue, blue, please. Huh. Oh. Yeah, I guess I. Hey guys. Uh. E. That wasn't so bad. Stupid trappers. I can hear you make noise. Uh, the stupid vine casks. Hello. There must be something I can do in this place. Maybe it's must examine one of the casks. Stand still. Ah, that didn't help. At least it's dead now. Okay, straight to purple. Yep. Not gonna mess around in here. This is an easy target though. Screw you. And let's see how the... How this guy finishes stuff. <laughs> oh, Paul, you are severe. In your dealing out of punishment. Okay, let's just move out. Must be something I could do here. Vine cask, vine cask. Vine cask. Oh, not in this cask, which is in the hole of fud. It's empty, but why? When the others are full of metal wines. Yes. Aha! Oh. Better not be trappers in there. Oh. It's a monster! Oh crap. Uh, whatever. Ah, I need to reload! <laughs> Crap. Better not take long. Out. There you go. Reload and just stay back. Ah. Got plenty of crossword bolts. Oh. Crossword bolts. Uh, crossbow bolts. At least this guy's stupid. Ah. Oh crap. This guy really put the dent on my psyche. Aha! There you go! This isn't so bad. Sapphire. Interesting. Oh crap. What was used for healing sanity? That's correct! Might as well recover my sanity a bit. Then my health. Then reload the crossbow. Let's switch back to the mace. Okay, let's see. A puzzle has three small indentations during its top, arranged in a circular formation. Each socket appears to be waiting for something. Blue. Green. Missing a red. So I need to backtrack and find the red gemstone.
Uh, backtracking. This skip or killing of here, and this maybe one of them holds. Uh... Oh, wait a minute, there's something red there. Oh, I can't reach it. Well, let's try to kill some of the enemies I skipped over last time. Maybe they will. They hold some secrets. Where are you? There are you. Ah! You have a maze to the skull! There's this little bastard. Oh, oh see, it's simple. No maze. No, no, I mean. Oh, there's paper on the. Some paper here. Probably a spell. Shield. Oh yeah, shield. Alright, oh, and there was uh Mr uh, uh I can't remember his name. Jonathan or Joseph or whatever, whose undead corpse haunts this place. So let's uh let's buff ourselves up. Uh Shield. Red, why not? Hey, bro. Where are you? I know. Oh, hello. This can't be <laughs> Interesting. Ah, oh, there you go, in his eye. I see it now. So I'll just kill him and return with the red emerald. This is much better than the stupid torch. Da -da -da -da. You're too slow. Whoop. Being undead sucks, huh? Barely ab able to catch me. You're barely doing any damage, damage on me, Mo. Maybe I should try cross or crossbow. Oh. Uh, kill? Oh, there you go. Wait a minute, can I display this curse, perhaps? Aha! Oh no, there we go. Just a very tough son of a bitch. Can't see him. Poor dude. I'll miss him. But now for loot! A ruby! Okay. A two edged sword. Nice. Oh, and uh. Oh. Then this disappears. So let's return to the. Place we were and place the red gem. The red gem. Da -da -da -dee -da -da -da.
Okay, so we're back here then. Uh, actually, before we move on, uh, let's call it a day here. So, uh, this has been Tren. Uh, thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Eternal Darkness, Santa's Requiem on the Nintendo GameCube. See you later! I'm sort of sad I didn't get to check out if the hot spring water fought out Gotto. I'm so slow! <laughs> <laughs>